there's a really cool command here under the edit menu called duplicate along path. The idea is to create an object that you want to duplicate, create a path that you want it to go along, select them both, and then go edit, duplicate along path. And now you've got lots of choices. Now first of all, you've got to make sure you check. First of all, you have to make sure that you select the correct path object, and there are buttons here to help you do it. Initially, Vectorworks uses the creation order of the objects to choose the path. It always chooses the object you created first. We can then choose a number of duplicates. We could make that 10, for example. Or we could use a fixed distance. We can choose a start offset. At 0, this object will start at the start of my polygon, which should be at the end down here. We can make it tangent to the path. So this object at the moment is flat that way. So what it should do is rotate that so it runs along the path. Anyway, let's preview it and see what we get. So that's my preview. If we turn off tangent to path and look at it again, you'll notice that they're going in the same orientation as I created, starting here at the beginning of my polygon. And they're walking up 1200 millimeters. Now this is a little strange because just at the corner it changes... This is a little strange here because just at the corner it measures from that point up to the corner and then along to get the next one. If we go tangent to a path, you'll notice that they're following the path. If you rotate this 90 degrees, then they will be still tangent to the path, but they'll be going across the path rather than on the path. So let's go ahead and make that. This is a circle and the same object. So edit, duplicate along a path, tangent to a path, let's preview it. You can see that they're perpendicular to my path because of the original orientation of that object. So let's rotate that one because now that we know that's what we want and let's select those two and we will do duplicate along a path. This time we'll do a fixed number, let's make it 12, preview it and it'll evenly space those. We can make it 10, see if that's any better and then OK. Let's select these two again, so edit duplicate along a path. Now it's centering on the path. Let's turn that off. And you'll notice that they're scattered all over the place and that's due to the location of that object relative to 0, 0. So let's center it on the path. Let's preview it. OK. Now in 3D when we look at it, these objects have been centered on the path. The center of those objects is on that path. So it does end up getting the bottom center below 0. If you make that back to zero on the object info palette, those objects will now be sitting directly on the ground. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.